All right, we are going to change the filter on this French door uh, Samsung. You see this is the model of the refrigerator. And uh, we got this filter replacement from uh, Home Depot. And you can see where it says it fits the Samsung um, HAF QIN type refrigerator. HDX 107129. Did a little research and found out that this uh, is a replacement for. You open up the doors of your refrigerator. Let me go ahead and show that just in case, just so you know I'm dealing with the top two doors here. And so we have this particular refrigerator is one with the um, view screen on it, which is really nice and handy. My wife uses that all the time. You open the doors and uh, you can see the little lock. You just twist it towards uh, the unlock right, right down here. There we go. So we are going to give this guy a twist. Boom. You'll feel it right there in the unlock. And it looks like you have to twist it more than once. So you pull a couple times, comes out, and she's nice and square. You see the uh, topping on it where it goes up on the inside. All right, so I, um, I pulled the filter um, out of the box. Basically, you can see it has the same shape on it, uh, a little different on the backside on how to twist it in. The, the base is a little different, but uh, the rings are the same. That's really, really important. I do notice a slight difference on the base. You can see the little cuts on the end there. And uh, so we'll put it in and see uh, what that looks like. It looks like it might not cover 100%, but what does matter is that the rings are the right size and that they seal when it goes in. All right, so took it out of the plastic. You get a little bit better look at it. It has comes with a cap, and uh, this is the FMS-4 uh, filter, and we pull the little cap off. We look at her closely and um, she is identical to uh, the other to the original uh, filter so we're going to go we're going to put her in and uh, see how she fits okay so we're here at the refrigerator and uh, we're going to push this guy in and uh, I, it doesn't appear that it matters whether it goes in this way or this way because it twists and locks in. But uh, obviously, we're going to put it here. And you got to put a little pressure. If you look in here, there's a, this here bends down. This is what puts pressure as it slides in on this filter to keep it in place. And um, so when you put it in there, you have to just push it in. There you go. And once she's in there, you go here, you twist clockwise, do it again, you just push it in until this piece right here, this little solid piece right here, is up on top, up on the lock right there. And that's how you know you're, lock, you're locked in. All right, so we're going to have to test this, make sure the water runs well. And uh, plus, you're wanting to uh, run water through the filter. Some filters will have extra charcoal, charcoal uh, you know, the taste. So you probably want to run about a gallon. Uh, it will help you get all the air out of the line as well. All right, so we have a, a glass here and we put it on water, as you can see. And we're just going to let it run a little bit. There's your air. And that's what you're trying to get out is uh, that air. So you want to kind of run that until it stops uh, spitting air out like that. And looks like we're probably pretty close. Look on the inside, it looks a little cloudy actually. Like it's got a little bit of charcoal in it. I'm gonna smell it. 
smells good. Let's pour it out. And uh, I'm going to do uh, another, sorry about that, I'm going to do another water coming through good. Okay. All right, looks good. Looking good. Okay, that's it. And you just want to obviously make sure there are no leaks or anything. And uh, we're looking, uh, we're looking good 100%. All right, I hope that helps you with replacing your filter. Uh, and what we have to do different units or, or, or right. So your unit may have, if you look right here, you can see a slot, right? Some units have a, a display right there, and um, you you reset the filter from here. But the units with the screen, uh, you have to you have to go in and reset the filter from the screen. All right. So what we want to do when you're going to reset your filter is you're going to come down if you if you have the refrigerator with the screen, of course. So you're you're going to come down and you're going to click on your messages. And you'll go up and you'll read. You won't get four. And uh, you'll see the, the message that says uh, replace uh, filter. It says the filter needs replacement. Click on that. Give it a second. And uh, there'll be a reset filter or buy filter. And so we're going to reset. It's going to want us to confirm changes the date on it and so now the new date for the filter is february 7th 2022 that's it